welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing down below. I upload videos every Thursday and sometimes on Mondays as well. I do unboxings, I talk about things that are on my mind, different topics, I do candle reviews, and a bunch of other cool things such as haul and thrift with me. And if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing. I have a bunch of cool stuff planned for the summer which I cannot wait to share with you guys and I'll touch base about that a little bit at the end of the video. And for now, today's video is going to be my second quarter check-in with my 2021 goal. And I know it's been a while since you guys saw me on my camera. I do have another video I am filming today and I don't know which one I'm going to put out first, whether it's going to be that one or this one, but I know it's been a while since I've been on camera, but things happen. Plus. The unboxings that I was doing were the only things I had for a while going on and it just seemed like it was easier to film that way so you guys had better detail of what was in the boxes. So I'm sure I don't look <laughs> entirely different but we will get into the goals and check in with where I'm at with each one and how things are going. So the first thing on my list was to read 12 books by the end of the year. Now when I did the video last time I had read two books and today I have two more for you. I'm not making particularly good progress with reading for whatever reason. I don't know if I just I can't focus. Like I said before in my previous video, I don't have a lot of quiet time or time to myself for that matter to like really have a quiet atmosphere where I can read and I get distracted easily so I need like perfect quiet silence when I read or everything will pull me away from it. but you know it's now almost the end of well no it is the end of June and I'm only up to four books so that's not good that means I'm gonna have to read eight in the next six months which is definitely doable by no means is that gonna be technically difficult and especially once I go on these two things that I have planned I'm gonna be able to do a lot of reading then as well but anyways I will show you the two books that I am reading. I believe this first one I showed in a thrift with me. I can't remember if I did. And technically I have read this book before, but I ended up getting this in a thrift haul and it is The Tales of Beetle's Bard from Harry Potter. And you know, I like some of these stories in here, so I had to have this. And I think I only paid like a dollar or two for it. I don't remember how much I paid for it exactly. I think I paid a dollar. But I have read this one. And then the other one is one of my favorite mangas and I don't know if I've talked about my love for manga before but I have loved manga since I was very young and I love a lot of stuff that Shonen Jump puts out and I used to get their monthly little, what do you want to call it, their monthly book that they would put out that would basically have little sections of several different mangas in it that Shonen Jump was in charge of putting out and I believe the magazine was called Shonen Jump, I can't remember. I still have some somewhere in my house but I would get that every month because I loved a lot of their stuff and that's how I found this one and if you have not heard about this one it is Tagami Bachi and it's called Letter B and it is a really good manga. This is book two. I had read this originally when this was in the Shonen Jump magazines and then I never owned it for some reason, even though I really, really love this manga. So eventually I started buying this series in particular, and I really enjoy it. If you guys have not heard of this manga, it is about this world where there really isn't any light and there's an artificial sun, and it's really dangerous to leave the area that is protected by the artificial sun because there's a lot of things that are out there in the wild that can hurt you, and there are these people called letter bees that will get information and mail back and forth to people where it is dangerous and the main character of this manga he has some special powers which I'm not going to get into because I want you guys to read it it's really good but anyways so those are the two books that I have read and again I'm gonna have time to read books soon hopefully next up on my list is to be vegetarian or vegan for a full year. Now when I had updated you guys last I had been doing pretty good with it and I believe I showed a bunch of photos of the stuff that I've been making and I haven't really found any new recipes in particular. I've been watching a bunch of videos to try to get inspiration but I have still technically been very good with the diet. I have slipped a couple times but 
Uh, I'm sure if you're not living under a rock, you know about the current state of a lot of jobs right now in the U.S. Everywhere is shorthanded because nobody's applying, nobody's working, and I have had to work a lot more than usual. I also had someone go out on maternity leave. A couple of my employees had gotten COVID, and then we had another employee that was out because of an injury, so it has been very shorthanded at my job. And I've had to be working a lot more and I've been stressed and after working several hours a day or you know working all seven days that week I, there were a couple times where I didn't feel like coming home and cooking because I was just so exhausted so I would get food out and I I did try to stay with vegan and vegetarian food when I did order out there is a Thai place near me that makes a lot of really good pad thai and I get it with tofu instead of meat I don't remember if I had a picture of it in my last video or not because I can't remember when I made it but I taught myself how to make kimchi fried rice. I did have to take the mushrooms out of the recipe though because I can't have mushrooms, I'm allergic to them. But in general I've been trying to stay with the diet and I have technically <laughs> slipped up here and there. I had never had sushi before and one of my friends had convinced me to try it so I did have fish one day but other than that the only other sushi that I've gotten has been tofu instead of meat and then there was another time that I was at a barbecue and I did have some barbecue because that's what was available there and because they're not going to cater to me I can make do but in general I have been eating out a lot even though I've been eating out a lot I've been trying to stay to that diet but that particularly doesn't matter because the diet isn't to necessarily keep me away from meat it's to keep me on a healthier diet and eating out is not a healthy diet even if it is vegan or vegetarian it's still unhealthy because a lot of those foods are cooked with a lot of preservatives, a lot of fats, a lot of salt. <laughs> so I am going to try to get back to cooking at home. I think we have not gained any weight since I last talked to you guys. I'm still down as much weight as I was down but I haven't lost anymore. So I'm, I would say I'm technically at a plateau but not really because I haven't been sticking to the diet necessarily. And the goal is to cook all the food for myself not eat out a bunch. So hopefully I will get back on track with dropping the weight but I am glad I haven't gained anymore so that's a plus. <laughs> Next item on my list is to get a tattoo. I still have not found an artist that I particularly am excited about or that I feel like is the one I want to do my tattoo plus I don't know it's just because everybody hasn't been working or what but I don't know if this is the same for everybody right now but tattoo artists right now are booked up I mean booked up to the brim everyone's going to tattoo artists right now and there were a couple that I had gotten a hold of to kind of see what their art style was like see if they were a right fit and they're booked up like a good month or two in advance and I I'm kind of shocked that people are getting tattoos that frequently right now so I'm gonna have to wait probably until fall hopefully things will die down a little bit and I can get in with the tattoo artist and see if I can find one I like uh, but I'm kind of keeping my eyes open for one that will do the one that I want so I will keep you guys posted on that but I do have the money set aside for that so that is not an issue. Next on my list is to hit 800 subscribers and I had mentioned that when I do hit 100 I want to do a giveaway Right now, as of filming this video, I have 48 subscribers, so we're pretty much halfway there. And like I said, this isn't super important. I My goal isn't to have a bunch of subscribers. A lot of these videos I'm kind of making for myself, I mean, minus the unboxings. The unboxings are because I know there's people out there that are interested in those subscriptions but don't want to buy the boxes themselves unless they know it's stuff that they're actually going to like, so they watch the unboxings to see what's in them. That type of thing. So I know <laughs> those obviously aren't for myself. But videos like this are obviously to keep myself in check or the videos where I talk about things that are on my mind. I also do that for myself because sometimes it's either a topic I need to get off my chest or whatever. Uh, any ones that I will be doing where I'm like going somewhere where it's vlog style, that is also for me so that I have that memory to look back on. If you guys happen to enjoy it as well in the process, then that's wonderful. But the ultimate goal isn't for me to be, you know, getting a bunch of subscribers and all that stuff. So it's whatever. But we are halfway there, so if I do get to 100, I will stick to my word. I already have an idea of what kind of stuff I want to give away, so I'm really excited about that. So if we hit that by the end of the year, hopefully I can be doing a giveaway. The next thing on my list is to lose 100 pounds this year. And I know I had said that I wasn't sure what my plan or goal was with, you know, 
how I was going to determine how much weight I've technically lost for the year. Uh, for those who have not seen the other video, I did not weigh myself in January. I didn't get weighed until like halfway through February. And the only other weight I have before that is from October. So I don't know how much weight is from October to January and January to that time in February. So I decided what I was going to do was just not count January's weight loss at all and just go from that February 18th, I believe it was, from that day when I got weighed next and I would just count that and then if I'm close to 100 but not quite there, like say by December I've lost 95 pounds, I'm going to count that goal as achieved because I'm sure I could have lost that 5 pounds in that January to February window where I don't know for sure because I'm an idiot and didn't think to weigh myself. <laughs> But anyways, so that's my goal for that. I think that's what I'm gonna gonna do in that situation. I don't know else how to solve that. Uh, but anyways, as far as that is concerned, like I said when I was talking about the diet, I have not gained any more weight, but I also have not lost any more, so I definitely need to get back on top of that and working out more and all. The last item on my list was to get organized, and that not only meant, you know, in my house to get everything nice and neat and organized, that also meant my life, my goals, my hobbies, all that, like just everything in my life I wanted to get organized, whether it was mentally, physically, you know, my habitat, whatever, and I definitely have done that. My whole house I went through and cleaned, I bought a bunch of shelving units, I went through all my paints, threw away ones that I've kept that are practically empty and dried out, I have changed my room around, I've gone through everything, gotten rid of stuff that I don't need. I've gotten rid of a lot of my clothes and I will notice it's starting to clutter back up just a teeny bit because I've been super creative lately. I've been painting a lot and making a lot of things so I need to figure out a way to put that stuff. Earlier today I was working on a nice case to display my stuff from Up Moth and Moon which I can't wait to get that finished. Basically all I have to do now is paint it and then get everything in there but I put it together, glued it together so I will have that up soon. And then as far as organizing everything in my life. I have been doing pretty good with that as well too. I've been trying to keep everything in nice and neat little folders on my computer. I've been trying to organize what I do with my day, how I spend each hour, making sure I'm not wasting time doing mundane things. So I would say I'm doing pretty good with that one as well. And I believe that is it. <laughs> so that is my second quarter update. I would say overall things are going quite well and hopefully I can keep this up for the rest of the year and just power through and hopefully get more positive results. I know I've got a lot planned for the summer and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So what I will tell you is in August me and a bunch of my friends are going on a yearly camping trip. We did not go last year obviously because of COVID. That's the only year that we've ever missed out of all the years that we've gone. And it's going to be a bunch of me and my friends. Right now we're pretty much figuring out exactly where we want to go. I think we've pretty much nailed down the place that we are going to go to. I am going to leave that as a surprise for now. But we've picked out the place. We have started planning. And we always plan it a couple months ahead of time because there's a lot of us that go or a lot of us that try to go. So we try to give everybody enough notice so they can get it off work, uh, set aside money, stuff like that. And it is a camping trip. And... I think right now there is I think nine of us going. Uh, usually it's anywhere from like six to fourteen people that go. Uh, the year that there was fourteen of us it was pure chaos but like a good kind of chaos so I wouldn't mind that happening again. But a lot of people that can't go this year it's because they didn't work pretty much all of COVID because they worked in the food industry and now they're back to work and they are so short staffed there's no way that they are going to be able to get time off, which is unfortunate and I'm really sad they can't go with, but I guess that's how things go. So, And then the people that are going right now are like the main core of people that go every year, so I'm really, really excited about that. We're in the midst of planning that, so I will have a vlog about that. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing like the process and getting like a gaming trip together. I'm assuming a lot of people know how to do that, but I'm realizing amongst my group of friends, I tend to be the one who plans stuff more, and I don't know if it's just because I can easily get organized or I know what to do, and I definitely play a mom role in my friend group, so I'm not quite sure why that is, but uh, if you guys are interested in that, I could possibly do videos on that, like what kind of stuff to take, 
you know, what's important to have camping, what's not. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, so I guess let me know. And then, other trip that just kind of got decided yesterday, actually, <laughs> Uh, which I love planning things spontaneously or coming up with spontaneous ideas. Me and one of my really good friends have decided we are going to go to New York for a few days in September uh, for several different reasons. There's a lot of things we want to see there. I've never been to New York and my overall goal in life is to go to every possible place on the planet that I could even go to. Uh, I do have a wanderlust. I want to see everything. I want to go everywhere. So. And I believe she has also never been. I'm not positive though. But yeah, so that is something we just started planning as of yesterday that we just randomly decided, let's go to New York. We're going to go in September. We picked out the dates. Um, we've already started planning where all we're going to go. And I can't wait to share that with you guys as well. I'm super, super, super excited. I love spontaneous trips. And yeah, I think that is all I have to update you guys with right now. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.